One. Fight! You're open! is over. Show respect for the fallen who fought so bravely.
The battle is over. Show respect for the fallen who fought so bravely. Uh, and For we're sure. watching that unfold here. Quick, quick, quick example from StarCraft. If anyone remembers Scarlet, a, a female player, uh, and there was a tournament called IPL. It was an open bracket tournament, and she showed up and ended up making one of the most ridiculous runs in esports history by defeating Korean players. Think about this. This is an era in StarCraft where Korea was dominating the world. South yep. Korea had, had the most incredible esports athletes. They destroy everyone in all these games. And then Scarlet comes in here, and she starts destroying them, not just beating them, but like putting them aside. The uh, and she ended up making a huge run through a tournament. And, and those moments don't happen without these tournaments. So we love it. I'm here for it. Alicia, you're here for it. We're all here for it. Uh, I, I'm always looking out for those stories of people who can step up in these open bracket opportunities and, and make a name for themselves. That's right. And here we are. Oh, they're a Mina player. OK, OK, cool, cool, cool. We're going to see here is 2B action. So for those of you guys who don't know, 2B from Nier Automata is actually in this game as well. So here we are with a little bit of 2B fighting. Um, but we have another Mina player here putting in a lot of work right now. Oh, tries to fish for a massive launch. So they're not, not punished too, too hard for it. Okay, we get the sidestep. Great job. Drops the follow-up. Doesn't matter. Yoran! Yoran's doing an excellent job of just understanding, like, hey, Mina's want to press buttons? Not today. I'm going to just big chill, do my thing. And honestly, we don't want into too many 2B players often, so seeing one is pretty exciting for me. Ooh, have you actually played Nier Automata before Axel? Um, I have not. Oh, I hope you give it a try sometime. Pretty, really pretty game. And speaking of which, this is a really pretty combo. My, my lord, what you doing there today? But there we go. Ethereus, bring it back. The advantage he has right now. Look at the positioning near the edge. Ooh, keeps the 6A there, keeping it at bay. And just like that, your ankles, no ankle guards on. You're gonna have to hold the big old low. Ethereus also looking very good when it comes to the two bars of butter to work with the two meters. Um, able to access those moves we saw earlier, which is Soul Charge as well as crit oh, Critical Edge. But here we are with the Soul Charge for our, for Yorha. I think is how I say it. Um, Yorha is going in. Okay, return Soul Charge for Ethereus. He's gonna have access to a lot of pressure. Let's see if he tries to go for the unblockable setup, but not today. Yorha, oh my goodness, Yorha is just going wild. Doesn't matter though. Ethereum's trying to clap back, but it's so difficult for both these players to get a hold on each other. All right, a little bit of pokes out. Hey, Ethereus now up around. Hey, Yorha, try to go for space in this time around and then just go straight in for it. Does not wait even a moment after taking a step back. Okay, Ethereus trying to keep it out a little bit of rage, but doesn't matter. Yorha actually really played this matchup extremely well and oh wow, but that's a lot of guard cage damage. Doesn't matter though. Oh, no, no, no wall splat there either. Very patient by Yorha. Gonna pop, pop his own soul charge as well. And then the 1B and a second 1B. Oh, the ankles. The ankles. Axel, their ankles. That's where what? I would that's where I would fail as a fighter. I'm I'm six five. So I'm pretty tall. So my ankles would probably be the weak point of my game for anyone taking notes on uh, how to fight me. But uh, wow, what a surprising honestly a somewhat of a surprising result there. Gold Yora seemed to get off to a super strong start. But uh, couldn't hang on to that momentum. Welcome yeah, the it was, they were, retold. like, the, the fight was very back and forth. It felt like it was very even going into that for sure. Oh, by the way, from the chat, Dune Dunes asked, can anyone tell me the best way to learn blocking? Uh, the best way to learn blocking within Soul Calibur is uh, just a lot of patience. What you want to actually do is learn what your fastest moves as a character are. Let's so, begin. for example, pressing AA um, or BB, those are your two, like, faster, easier sort of hits uh, for each of the characters. Um, so those ones, when you tend to just block those out, it kind of teaches you a little bit about timing for each of the characters. Um, being defensive is sometimes your best offense when it comes to Caliber. 
understanding that all B's are uh, verticals, all A's are horizontals, things like that. Because since it's a three-dimensional fighter, sidestepping matters too. So things like step guarding is also important. Um, but guarding in general, um, sometimes you just gotta hold the block button and pray when it comes to a little bit of stuff, when it comes to a little bit of scarier characters. But the best way to learn um, a strong offense is through learning uh, just your really fast moves as a character. Just AA, BB, things like that help you a long way. And here we go. Oh, busting a lot of damage on the guard gauge here. Oh my goodness, okay. A theory is trying to make something happen. Oh, misses the opportunity for the big boy launch, doesn't matter. Here we are with our first flashing red guard gauge of the tournament. So flashing red guard gauge in Soul Calibur means that there's a potential for a guard break, which as soon as a guard break happens, that animation right there, you get to have a free launcher and combo just like that. A theory is taking advantage of it completely, both of them now with a bar of butter to work with, and just goes for a throw. All right, so we're on to our next round here. Ethereus up one already. This goes for something simple. Right there, you might have saw them do something that's called a 2A. Um, when I refer to the numbers and the letters in the game, uh, the numbers are similar to like when you're looking at um, a number pad on a keyboard, right? Yep. Where it's like one, two, three are at the bottom, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the top, right? Um, five is like neutral. Three is like down forward inputs, things like that. So when you talk about a six input, it just means you're holding forward and pressing that button in particular. So things like that are kind of a, makes it a little bit easier when people talk about what moves you want to use in the game. All right, oh, ducks the throw and busts out the CE as a punish. So when it comes to punishments in fighting games, um, when somebody misses a move, when they whiff, right? It's kind of like when you're taking a baseball bat and trying to hit a baseball, right? You're gonna get you're gonna get a strike for missing that baseball. And it's the same cause. Uh, oh, you missed the baseball? Hold that strike. <laughs> real quick, MLB The Show coming to Game Pass. Or it might already be on Game Pass, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Holy! Yeah, I saw NHL was on there too, so I was like, oh, there's like so many different things, so many different things in like Game Pass, which all of you should definitely check out. <laughs> Here we go, a little bit of spacing is in Soul Charge. Lots of pressure out. We've got a flashing guard gauge here for Aetherius. All right, Yora, trying to make something work for himself here, but there we go again. What, you want to whiff on me? On me, boy, have some respect. Get struck out just like that. Bad a bad a <laughs> swing. Aetherius closing it out, taking the 2 0. But this is a fun little special here on the weekend. Again, big thanks to Alicia for joining us in this tournament action, a collaboration between Xbox, Xbox Game Pass, and Smash.gg to make this happen. Soul Calibur 6 on Game Pass, 16-player tournament on Smash.gg, double elimination. You could have signed up. You could have. And if you didn't, that's okay. You get to enjoy the commentary and you get to enjoy the show here today. But if you want to sign up in the future, keep an eye out for tournaments. You can stay glued to Xbox social channels or the Smash.gg website. I feel like we'll be doing this more. At least uh, I hope that we will be doing it more. I'm sure we will be. Uh, tournaments from games on Game Pass to involve you guys. Um, you know, Alicia, I'm, you obviously recognize a lot of these players you're playing today. That's one of the coolest things that can happen. You practice at home, you get better at a game, you compete on the ladder, you sign up for tournaments, and then before you know it, you might be premiering on a stream like we're doing here on Twitch.tv slash Xbox. As we see these, this action continue, Atherius versus Noo, same drill here, a best of three, a best of five in a best of each best of three round, and the winner will advance to our winner's bracket final. Oh, 6A lethal hit, does not get the follow up there for himself, Atherius gonna get the first L for the rounds. Okay, Noo, okay Noo, building yourself a one full bar to work with here too. All right, putting out the pressure, it like goes for the GI there, He's trying to fish with his ankles. Hey, Atherius blocks his ankles. Whoa. So the things that we have not seen this entire tournament. It just happened right now. Oh, okay, we jumped on the tech jump right there. No one trying to clap back right now, and I love it. Here we go. Oh, watch yourself. Oh, decides to use the soul charge. Does create a pushback and a knockback for himself. All right, he the access to the moves available in soul charge. Able to pump in a little bit of damage, but not today. Get a little poke out there, too. Oh, give him those string cheese, baby. Oh, wow, catching the whip 
Hitting with a 6A lethal hit. No. Up two rounds. Also approaching close to two meters for him. All right, Ethereus. Trying to make something work out here. Goes for a little 1B, gets blocked. Lots of patience now in neutral. Sometimes you'll notice that with players tend to cancel out and be a little bit more patient while looking to each other's eyes. It's a sign of respect, but here we go. Disrespect right there. There you go with the RI. Able to rock it out. No woe. No woe at the end. Just disrespecting him goes, oh, you want to press a button on me? When I got all this meter? No, <laughs> you can't. You don't have permission to touch me. This is Gucci, baby. It just hits him for it. Love it. Love it. Now let's see what Ethereus does coming into this. Are we gonna get the run back, run it back, mirror match time, baby? Or is he gonna pick to a secondary character? I don't even know if he has a secondary character. So let's find out. Yeah, I mean, no wo, more like no problem. Uh that was a pretty smooth fight, it seems to me. Miss Alicia, and especially based on what we've seen from Nolo today and how he's played earlier in this tournament, uh, he seems pretty good. I'm not going to say he's my favorite yet to win the thing, but my gosh, this is this is probably the most commanding almost so far that we've seen, I'm especially sorry, especially at this fish. level in the winner bracket semifinal. Remember the other winner bracket semifinal is so close, <laughs> so back and forth, but it seems like Nolo is just having his way with the field so far today. <laughs> Can we get what faces in chat? Can we just get what faces? Anyone? Anyone want to type what face? This is... What is this? <laughs> Did you see? Did you see it? Um... Uh... Battle one. <laughs> He's fighting the fish god! The fish gods of justice! Noah just um, standing there in disbelief, perhaps? It's like, uh... I guess he might be asking if it's okay to do in tournament. I don't know. What's your guys' rules on creative characters? It's a good yes. question. Uh, officially, I, I can say stand by. <laughs> I'm, I'm not 100% sure. All right, so I'm gonna like just maybe fill you guys in a little bit about this just in case, is that normally in tournaments, we don't allow create a soul characters. Like we let people do customizations on a character or they can pick outfits, but create a souls are ones that are uh, characters made from the character creation screen, which I think is what's happening right now. They're choosing to just run it out and do right. ring outs, which is where they can reset it. So you can pick the character still, just not this version of it. So that's what they're gonna try to do right now, is just uh, quickly, quickly reset it on them. Yeah, because he didn't just pick a different, a customized character. He created his own character, which changes the style of hitbox that the character has for the model itself. Right. So uh, Nobo was like, let's not do that to me. Let's fight. Let's fight fair, brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> but mind you, that fish head. That's a. Uh, what, what was on my screen? What compelled him to make that? Which, by the way, for those of you who don't have Soul Calibur, or even do have Soul Calibur, who knows, but if Xbox Game Pass, you can get Soul Calibur for yourself and make your own fish god, okay? Something seems fishy here, and it might not be the gameplay, okay? It's a little bit weird. Get one for yourself. Um, the rule said that creative souls are not allowed. Okay, there you go. So yeah, so he has there to go, go back and pick. He wants to pick Yoshimitsu, he has to go pick Yoshimitsu itself. Cool. <laughs> Make your dreams come no. true, though. Um... Yeah, for yourself, people. Get Xbox Game Pass and make your own fish gods, okay? And then we can pray to them, and it's okay. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a tournament one day where that is allowed. Any character goes, whoa, what is that I see? There seems to be a code in the chat. I wonder what that code is for in the chat. That has to be a record. I, I need to find the Game Pass code library because apparently someone has access to it. That's like three or four codes we've dropped so far during this show. Uh, codes to Xbox Game Pass. If you didn't enjoy this stream enough, if you're not enjoying the opportunity to see these people on stream, and if you're not enjoying the information that Game Pass has over 100 high-quality games for console, PC, and Android, if all of this is not enough, we are literally giving away Game Pass codes in the chat. I cannot think of a cooler place on the internet, Alicia. Honestly, right? Like... Dang, guys, you guys can have your own version of, like, your own, very own, free, absolutely free code for Xbox Game Pass. Who first come, first serve, baby. Whoever puts it in first gets that code. Y'all better be rushing over to it. But here we go. Speaking of rushing in, we got Ethereus versus Novo. Novo 
trying to chill out on it a little bit. Oh, we poke him out the air. He said, no flying for you. I hear he's on Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu, a character that is also in Tekken as well. Um, though it's referring to a whole lore about the sword and the clan itself, but that's a little bit too long to talk about. All we need to know is that he's got Manji Magic Baby. Hit him in the gosh darn shins. You see that? No one blocks those ankles. Look at that. She's got like little cute shoes on. She has gladiator shoes on. How's she gonna block her ankles? I don't think she can. Oh! To go get the GI, I'm gonna get the full on top of it too. Oh wow! So there you go with the follow up there. Though it was blocked, remember there is guard gauge damage in the game. So him blocking moves like that, a series blocking moves like that, gonna add up to against his guard gauge damage. Just like there, causing a force block. Yellow guard gauge already. Yellow flashing guard gauge. If it becomes red, it has the opportunity for it to be broken, meaning that Noah will get a free launcher on Aetherius. All right, there we go, avoiding the puddle. Okay, good spacing here with the soul charge. Oh, we jump on in. Ooh. Oh, good cancel. Oh, the delay by Aetherius. Oh, he goes, oh, you want to predict me? Slide into the DM. What's your follow-up? That was slippery. Our boy is slippery. He's slippery like a fish god. You know what I'm saying? He's slippery <laughs> like a fish. Oh, it doesn't matter if he doesn't have the custom on, Axel. It doesn't matter if his custom's off. He's still going. We got the return soul charge. Clap back at him. Tries to do a follow up, but no whip punish on that. Tries to go for the full unblockable setup, but not today, says so Noah. I got space and boy. Oh, okay. Tries to cancel out. Gets a little bit of a follow up. Good pressure out. Both of them getting a little bit more chill now. Hey, box the full strength. A theory's with a little AA Noah trying to make something happen for himself. He says, get on the ground. Don't come near me. Oh, carry him over. Okay, we got a reversal edge here. We're gonna get the first clash. Oh, decides to go for the step back, thus avoiding the K option. Novo now getting on the board here with a round. Right, fishing for ankles. Hey, I like it. Putting in so much work early on, though, those little hits really adding up. But Aetherius, try to clap back, get your hands off me, breaks the throw. Gonna go into Soul Charge here, unlock special moves for Yoshimitsu, just like that. Putting in the work, what's the follow up here? Ooh, trying to cook something in the oven, but return Soul Charge for Novo. Okay, getting close to that ring out edge. Talk to him! Talk to him, Aetherius! Talk to him! Oh my god, he's trying to go for the unblockable setup. Noah said, get that shenanigans out of my game. Get that shenanigans out of my game. You think I wasn't gonna tech roll? You think I was gonna sit there and eat that unblockable? Like a chump? Like a chump? No. I'm out here trying to make this big old double. You have some respect on the name. Here we go. Goes for the B option out of reversal edge. Gonna get a soul attack here too. Ooh, put in your work. Okay, Aetherius with a, re with a return of the soul charge. Hey, beautiful job, able to get out of that low option by going into the fight stance, but hey, she got GI, oh. ugh, break attack, ugh, no, taking it 2-0, oh. Axel, Axel, did you see that coming? That's what I love about being here, and thank you, Xbox, for having me, to be able to talk about these players and talk a little bit about the Soul Calibur community, which you can become a part of. You can become a part of this wonderful history making game, right? This game's been out for longer than a lot of people have been alive, okay? It's a long, very old game that's been coming out over the years. Become a part of it. Try it out with Xbox Game Pass. Try it out for yourself. Get a few buddies to click some buttons with you. Have a good time. And if you have questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm more than happy to answer them. Even if I'm busy, I'll try to get to it. Try to make it through and try to have a fun time playing this game. But here we are in our next match. We have Incendiate versus Aetherius, I almost said the name wrong. <laughs> um, so it's actually Insignia picking his secondary character, which is X. Um, he does put in to play Ivy a lot of the time too, but his X is an incredibly talented X as well, um, which is Shang Kwa, if you're wondering which character I'm referring to, um, I call her X. Um, oh my goodness, just putting in the work right now, interrupting. Not letting Aetherius get a single one of his strong hits off. Goes, listen, if you're gonna wind up slow attacks like that, best believe I'm gonna poke them out. I'm a fast character. I can do what I want. And Ascendiate, not letting not letting Aetherius start up his own gameplay. Oh my, what? Okay, both of them dancing around each other. We go, we got the GI, re-GI. Gets back to the re-GI on the delayed version, which is really great timing by Aetherius. And Cindy's guard gauge is flashing red. Really scary moment. Oh, triple cry baby! Quadruple cry baby! 
quadruple tap. That move is literally, it does like barely any damage, but it's such a flex. He's literally crying on the ground, hitting, hitting his theories with his, with his shoes. With his shoes, hit him with his little tippy toes. His piggy toe, hit him, and did four times the damage. What the heck just happened there? <gasps> what? That's, that's disrespectful, Incendiate. That's just disrespectful. Okay. Okay. Ethereus, kind of. Little, look at this. This man's grouchy, okay? This man has to be grouchy. I got hit with that move four times on stream. My mom's watching. I can't have this happen here. Alright. Watch your ankles. Incendiate, flashing red garbage again. Who gets the guard break this time? Ethereus goes, Alright. You can have your little crybaby round. But I'll make you cry over this. I'm gonna take this round. Up with two meters as well. Ethereus looking pretty solid, even though he's down around. Catches him on approach. Ethereus goes, okay. Starting to find his own tempo and his own pacing now. I really enjoy this. Here we go. Use a soul trash because he does have meter advantage right now. Watch your ankles. Incendiate. Still trying to put in that work. Ugh. Talk to him. The wake up launcher. Oh, tries to go for a mix up there too. Ducks the throw. Able to get a launch punish there. Oh, wow. Incendiate with flashing guard gauge again. Mina, Sun Mina, one of the strongest characters when it comes to breaking down guard gauge, which is why we see it flashing so much against Incendiate right now. There we go, a simple launcher, the classic launcher. Incendiate able to get his CE off on this, but is it enough to kill? No, it's not. It's going to scale pretty hard. All right, trying to put a little pressure out. Down to the wire though. Oh, and the 1B! That low. No one's got ankle guards, Axel. No one's got ankle guards! <laughs> got even less clothing on now. Oh my god. She's gotta be careful. Exposed. She's exposed. It's a scary world out there. It's gonna hurt. Alright, Incendiate with one guard with one meter to work with though. Can he make something happen for himself here? Is he gonna choose to offer the soul charge or save it? Okay, we got flashing guard gauge yet again for himself. Chipping away at health. Ethereus backing up. Great spacing on Ethereus' part. Oh, but the simple launcher, ready to rock it out, goes, you want to touch this boy? Get off these threads. Uh. Okay, one HP to dream? Doesn't matter, though, and Syndicate taking game one. Ooh. Oh, baby, that's a, that's a close match. That's a close match. We love when it's close. That was, that was as close as it gets. Uh, what do you make of the convincing game point, though? Because it was a close match overall, Welcome but then it the seemed like in Cindy it was pretty smooth in the in that penultimate, uh, you know, round point there. I think it's what comes down to it is I think Incendiate just has a lot more like understanding and tempo pacing at the end, right? He has a lot more control, and I feel like it it shows it shows when it comes to like the conclusion of a round is that. Ethereus tries to go for like the more risky options, tends to go for like the big damage, trying to even up the tides, right? Incendiate is more like, you know what? I can play neutral. I have one of the strongest neutrals in this tournament. When it comes to a neutral game is where like, kind of like, it's like the more flowy conversation part where it's back and forth, block, I block, we hit, I hit type of thing. Like it's like the response back and forth. And that's what Incendiate thrived on in that end of those matches is to close it together he really thrived on those parts. And let's see if he's able to do that versus Manji Magic, baby. We got the switch over to Yoshimitsu. Um, a really, really cool character to pick. Has a lot of uh, really cool options as well from life. multiple stances. Um, we did get the Dots of Death. Hopefully we can get into that match regardless, <laughs> but either way. This is my big way. moment. I'm in. Battle one, fight. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You... No! You can't! Stop me! Do you give up? No! No! I grow strong!